a giant, a giant whale, whale chained in the sea, it, it accidentally ate the local fisherman and was punished, been trapped for 500 years, now, now its body has grown into a small island, suffering this punishment makes the giant whale cry every day, until this day, a man happened to be passing by, decided to rescue it, the man's name is Ivan, originally a farmer's son, He saved a white horse in the lake a few days ago, do not know why, that white horse has turned into a talking donkey, to show his thanks he brought two good horses with him, and ready to follow the main character, but he's not happy at all, because last night's crop made a mess in the wheat field, causing heavy damage to farmers, to make up for his mistakes, Ivan rides a donkey to town, planned to use those two horses to make money, then Ivan walked towards the town, as soon as he entered the city gate, he was noticed by everyone, everyone wants to buy his two horses, all of this was seen by the king from afar, the greedy king wants to take that pair of horses, those horses are so beautiful, of course it will be confiscated by him, stupid young man who knows nothing, the little donkey saw Ivan's helplessness, shout out an echo, the two children immediately ran towards them, the king did not like this situation at all, being pulled by two horses and running into the flower pile, he looks very disheveled, the king was embarrassed to be like this, he did it on purpose but it was unsightly, since Ivan has such ability, why not go and suppress the fire phoenix, fire phoenix harms the country and people, if you can kill it, then can be seen as a hero, Ivan was punished by the king and sent to an oasis, fortunately, Ivan's donkey, it was said that the fire phoenix loves to eat pine cones, let's collect enough, fire rises from the ground, a fiery phoenix rushed out, take the pine cones and throw them into the sky and swallow with its mouth, looks like it really likes pine cones, he eats a lot, suddenly the phoenix was dizzy, falling to the ground staggered, in fact, Ivan put anesthetic in the pine cone before, so the fire phoenix was captured, when he's happy, a crow's leg stretched out from behind, chasing Ivan, seeing being caught, the little donkey rushed out to save Ivan, but this time, the fire phoenix was really angry, flamboyant phoenix, flames rise to the sky, light up the whole oasis in the desert, at the moment of life and death, Ivan threw the pine cone in his hand, the fire phoenix opened its mouth and swallowed, then the anesthetic takes effect, fire phoenix falls into the lake, that's it, Ivan successfully captured the fire phoenix, but look at the pitiful appearance of the fire phoenix, good Ivan loosens the chains, fire phoenix rises to the sky and is free again, there's still a feather left, gift for Ivan. Ivan returns to the capital, the king sees Ivan with nothing, the king escorted him to the guillotine, Ivan loudly defended, said he tamed the fire, if they don't believe, he also carries phoenix feathers, but this feather has lost its shine, looks like chicken feathers, the king decided to execute Ivan, at this time, the feathers on the floor have changed, there's a fire in the sky not far away, it was the fire phoenix that heard Ivan's call, continuously hovering over the king's city, finally landed on the tallest tower, people have also seen this scene, they were really shocked, and called Call Ivan like a hero, the king is ashamed, hurry up to the stage, make Ivan a knight, however, the king had no intention of letting Ivan live, offer a next challenge, what he went to the north pole, there is a snow castle, there is a princess, the king asked Ivan to help him match up, Ivan was forced to hit the road again, Ivan and the donkey arrive at the castle gate, no one at the door, Ivan carelessly walked over, but he hit his head against an invisible wall, actually this is a magic wall, at this time, the phoenix feathers flew out towards the door, then, the next second the door opened, and Ivan entered the castle, and found the sleeping princess sleeping, when the princess heard Ivan say the king wanted a young queen, the girl wakes up from a dream and tells Ivan that she does not want to get married, because there are no heroes left, and then jumps into the abyss. Ivan does not hesitate to rush after her, the donkey also flew down, then full sprouts a pair of wings and catches both, Ivan finally succeeded in bringing the princess back to the city, the king wants to get married right away, but the girl refuses to get married without her grandmother's ring, which she dropped in the ocean. John, who has already fallen in love with the Tsar Maiden, asks the Tsar for an impossible job, so as not to think about the upcoming wedding and the maiden herself, the foal, after talking to the sun, moon, and wind, find out where the ring is, and he and John fly to the whale fish, as it turns out, the whale is chained up for swallowing the ships years ago, but doesn't know how to set them free, Ivan saw this and wanted to rescue it, seeing the pained expression of the giant whale, Ivan can't stand it, decided to save the whale, he rides a donkey, straight towards the nostrils of the giant whale and fly in, and be light inside the whale, like the stars in the night sky, the little donkey stretches its wings carefully, touch the inner wall of the giant whale's nostrils to make it sneeze, then it slowly lifts up, break iron chains one by one, then he raised it up and sprayed a human and a donkey flying out of the giant whale's mouth. Dozens of human sailboats set sail, turns out this is the kingdom of giant whales, it was the fisherman who mistakenly entered its territory. After that, Ivan went ashore, a crab with a ring, it's a gift from the giant whale, now Ivan can completely become a hero, is everyone's favorite, but only one person in his
his heart is the princess, right now, the princess is being held captive by this old and ugly man, but the princess doesn't want to marry him, Ivan is her prince, so the king got angry and imprisoned her, at this time, Ivan secretly came to the princess's window, but this scene was accidentally seen by the minister, so Ivan was taken away by the guards, the next day will judge Ivan, the king has three large pots, two of them were boiled, the one in the middle contains ice, if Ivan can jump into three pots and still be safe, the king recognized him as a hero, Ivan knows this is not okay, at this time Ivan was pushed down by the king, the princess took off her ring and threw it into the first cauldron, Ivan is fine, Ivan continues to fall into the ice pot, at this time, the fire phoenix roared above, a feather fell from the sky, ice cubes melt instantly, Ivan flew to the sky, falling into the last pot of boiling milk, the temperature in this pot is at least 1000, normal people would basically die instantly, the audience thinks it won't be okay, even the princess hit her face and started crying, suddenly a light flashed in the sky, a dandelion is falling slowly. Actually, the reason is full, Donkey runs to the end of the world, found this flower, the flower of God governs life and death, Ivan slowly rose from the boiler, like a god descended, everyone cheered and shouted that Ivan was the son of God, the king sees that everything is fine, and jumped into the cauldron of boiling water, result, then a big bubble flew up, bring an evil king, fly to the sky, and Ivan put on a yellow cloak, with the support of the people, become the new king, live with princess happy life, okay, that's all for today's story, see you next time.